From a magic point of view, your son's situation can be explained as follows. He has come here with a particular task. I would even say a higher task, probably. Firstly, he carries a mark. He has been chosen for some particular fate, for a mission. People that have been chosen for a mission, as a rule, never have a good destiny. A fate like this can be so destabilizing that sometimes the consciousness simply can take it. At the same time, such disturbances are needed in order for the consciousness to develop perhaps not an immunity, but a specific set of qualities of resistance against a broad range of impact on this world. This includes going through physical ailments, through physical transformation, through psychological transformation. How old is your child? Tell me, please. This never happens without reason. It is never a coincidence. Unfortunately, you have attracted a soul whom the forces are counting on. He's like a chosen one. He's not a magus, but he's chosen for a certain mission. Magi are never chosen. This is the law. The chosen ones are people with outstanding abilities. Or more precisely, these extraordinary abilities are given to them. It may be that this is his last reincarnation, that he has to finish or pick up here in this world what he hasn't yet collected. Such is the agreement. Furthermore, within the terms of this agreement, he actually has to bring into this world such substantial changes that hundreds of people wouldn't manage to do in hundreds of lifetimes. Therefore, I can only offer you my compassion, because being a mother of a chosen one is practically like being the mother of Jesus Christ. Sixteen years old? Being the mother of Jesus Christ is never a rewarding occupation. It's catastrophic. But for your child, this may be a serious chance, a very serious chance. My advice to you is, do not interfere. Forces are guiding him. Forces will guide him through. If you try to interfere, they will annihilate you. They will grind you down like a pair of millstones. And you will ultimately have to pay, as they say, for both yourself and the other guy. Help him grow. He is old enough to make decisions independently, but not yet mentally strong enough. He is still in puberty, the time when a child is still undergoing changes until a certain point. This process will last three more years and then it will be over, maybe even sooner than that. He has to go through this state of swaying back and forth like a pendulum in order to mobilize his consciousness to the level when he is actually ready to fulfill his mission. A mission that usually starts to be understood between 19 and 21 years of life. You have my compassion, my sincerest compassion, but it is what it is. It must be that you have wished in the past that your child be an extraordinary individual. Admit it, honestly, you wanted to give birth to a genius. There you go, you have given birth to one. And geniuses never have it easy. Geniuses always have a hard life. That's how our wishes come true. Beware of your dreams, they tend to come true. This is how I think Bulgakov spoke.